Hey Aquarius, welcome to your April 2021 Money, Career, and Biz reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general money, career, and biz energies for April 2021. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. We are delighted to see you here and cannot wait to dive into the energies for you. So remember, these are general readings. If you have a personal concern, you can book a private reading with me. The information for that is in the description. Also, if you're interested in my free astrology calendar, the link for that to sign up for that is in the description as well and all sorts, sorts of other interesting things. So check out the description to the video. As always, these are general readings. So make sure you use the energies and apply them to your life. All right, Aquarius, let's get into your reading. I'm going to use this deck, no reversals, to get the general feel and flow of the energies. I will dive in with two oracle decks this month, the Bold and Bodacious Tarot and a super attractor card. All right, Aquarius, what do we have for you? Money, career, and business. We have the Knight of Coins. All right, and... We have the Ten of Coins. So money, money, money is on your mind, it seems. So Knight of Coins, of course, is slow. It is energy that is about evolving over time. So it's longer term projects, investments, things like that. Ten of Coins is sort of similar in that it's, of course, the Ten, which is the highest of the minor arcana aside from the court cards. So, and it's about stability. It's about family finances, stability. It's about big money and growth, big growth that has happened. So with this energy here, this does suggest to me that something has been in the works to shore up your finances. So this could be investments you have made. This could be some the sale of some sort of family property. This could be finally an inheritance wrapping up. All of those details finally getting ironed out and you getting the, the money in your hand. I mean, all of that. It's a general reading. Apply it to your life. But this also suggests to me this is the focus for you in April. You want to see how you can maximize what you do have and make it grow. And what you do have is not just about the money in your bank account. What you do have is who you are and your unique skill set. So because I read pentacles is also self-esteem. So, you know, people forget that, right? That it's not money is not just about, about what's in your bank account. You create money out of your energy and out of your skills. So this suggests to me that you have very strong potential this month to continue maximizing who you are, your unique skill set to create prosperity for yourself. All right, let's see what else we have. Mm, we have the five of swords, but there's a little anxiety there. And we have the eight of swords, so there's some resistance. And we have the two of swords. We're not quite sure how is this going to happen. But then we cut through all the rigmarole and we say enough is enough. I'm going to do it. Ace of swords. So I think, look at all these swords that are popping up. Look at all of this. This is energy you're cutting through, working through this month, Aquarius, so that you can, you can align with this much more. And I think that's, that's what you're going to be doing. So at least for the first 11 days, until we get to that beautiful uh, new moon in Aries on the 11th or the 12th, depending on your place in the world. And Aries is your third house. It's your third house of the mind. So I think of the daily mind, of like the daily grind mind. <laughs> so if you've been having this energy as your daily grind mind, which is anxiety, I feel stuck and trapped. I can't see my way out of this situation. Look, you're blindfolded in both of these. This is like doubting Thomas, doubting Debbie energy times two here. And we don't need that anymore. We don't need that. It's time for more confidence, I feel, for some of you. It's about more confidence in your ability to manifest. And that's a mindset game, partly. I mean, there's other things involved too. We have to take action. But, 
but it is partly a mindset game and with all these swords it's a mindset game for you this month Aquarius and with this ace I am so happy to see it because it's a sword you're gonna wield to cut away the doubt the despair the despondency of your mind it's time to change your mind about what you can accomplish so two of swords I'm stuck and in a normal tarot they have the the swords over the heart so something you're not acknowledging in your heart again bolder over the heart here in this eight of swords and more blindfolds and the five of swords like arguing with yourself daytime anxiety coulda woulda shoulda can't do it and here's all the reasons why I can't I can't I can't I can't uh no I don't want to see this you can this is about making up your mind once and for all and choosing you ace of swords the aces are about the self right it's the number one so if you want to take care of number one better you want to take care of yourself better start with your mindset first all right let's see what else we have on the top of this deck yeah look at this eight of cups say goodbye say goodbye to the bs seven of cups embrace your dreams king of cups king of wands six of swords okay so this is again another sword but at least the six is about moving on and moving past and there's movement so what we have here is very interesting there's some energy here i feel of you aquarius taking charge king of wands of your emotions and like i said of, of allowing yourself to step more into possibility and less into fear and doubt so you're emotionally releasing i think some stagnant situations some old belief systems and you are empowering yourself with this king of wands energy which is large in charge powerful passionate i'm gonna go for what i want so and i feel too with this king of cups and this seven of cups there is probably some new dream of all the dreams you have here there's one new dream you would like to concentrate a little bit more on i think it has to do with the finances as i mentioned here um but there could also be some sort of emotional component to this financial prosperity you want to create for yourself so in other words it's really true money allows us flexibility and choices it really is freedom and the way freedom feels it feels really good so i think there's something going on here with you acknowledging the fact that it is this money is yes it's about money but it is about your emotional freedom from the past emotional free which could include debt of course emotional freedom from things that hold you down and don't allow you to feel impassioned and excited you know this is like the grind like i was saying with all those swords that we had so there's something else going on there too to be looking at this month but you're doing it you have the aries energy showing up here so i feel by the time aries season is complete 18th 19th time period you will have taken that sword and smashed through the last limiting doubts and limiting beliefs that are going on for you and you're gonna have like kind of hit that emotional reset button and be like yeah it's about the stability i can create for my finances and also to feel more emotionally stable and not ride the ups and downs of well, one day you have money one day you don't have money or one day you pay all the bills and then there's like two dollars left in your bank account like that type of thing that emotional roller coaster that can come from when we don't have as much foundational security as we would like so all of this is stuff you're shifting out of and you're making the decision to shift out of it i do think you're going to be looking at longer term potentials for yourself with this in here so you know for some of you it could be signing up for some sort of new 
course, some, you know, a, a book, uh, a mentor, could be a fire sign mentor coming in. But I think there is something you're going to commit to, to help you in some way. Something you're going to sign up for, so to speak. Sign your name to, sign up for, that will help you uh, invest in your future. This could be learning trading. This could be learning uh, some other sort of skill, like upping your, your skill level in what you do know how to do. All these, these potentials here, but you're looking at the longer term potential for yourself with these energies. Yeah, look at this, the three of wands. So, May, June, July... I think depending on what you do this month, you could see results coming in in three months, maybe even sooner with this three of wands showing up here. So very, very nice energy. A new money ship wants to come in for you. It does, re it does require something to be let go of though with your mindset and something to be shifted and redirected and emotionally to let go of some past baggage. So, but... Your ship of success can come in for you sooner than you realize, as long as you take your sword and make the decision that that's what you want and that's what you're going to go for. All right, let's see what else is going on for you. Life purpose oracle card, and then we'll look at your secret dream for your money, career, and biz life. Whoa! Oh my gosh. That flipped right out and over. All right, we have speaker. Your life purpose involves your skills of oration. Yes, yeah, so for some of you, it is about that. Absolutely. I'm going to also look at these. I like to look at these cards also as metaphors. So this for me is about speaking your truth, owning your truth, claiming your truth, putting your truth out there in some way, shape, or form. Now, it's interesting because the new moon is happening in that third house in Aries which is your house of communication if you have Aquarius rising. So there is something important that might need to get started in terms of sharing your message after that new moon in Aries. And, and Ace of Swords can be new initiatives in all sorts of communication projects, whether writing, speaking, teaching, networking, sales, any of those types of things. So that's something to think about. Let's clarify this speaker card with a bold and bodacious and let's see what we have but we can also look at the speaker card as really just getting the word out about you as well about your goods your services what you have to offer people you know maybe maybe you need to, th to think about that a little bit more because this energy that we had in the beginning I really didn't want to go back to it but <laughs> but I will this energy here is doubt and second guessing yourself. So when we're in this energy, we, we tend not to put ourselves out there. Or if we do put ourselves out there, we don't get the results back that we want because the energy isn't pure. The energy isn't fully aligned. There's this coloring it. All right, you get what I'm saying? So there may be something for you with this, this, this fresh enhanced mindset that you have that will allow you to draw more attention to yourself, to let people notice you, proclaim your goods and services and skills to the world. Yeah, look at this, see? Otherwise, do you wanna stay stuck? This is it, right? Here's more swords. If you wanna stay here, that's your choice. But I don't think you want to. Let's throw that away too, okay? I don't think you want to stay stuck in Ten of Swords energy, pinned down and unable to move and progress. But again, it's swords, it's the mind. But here's the thing, the Ten of Swords is also the end of this cycle, which is saying, this is the dawn of a new day, let's get rid of this and rise up and change our mindset. Let those swords fall where they may, get them out of you. Because it's interesting, you know, because all these swords that are coming up, it's, it's again, within your power. Within your power, Aquarius, to get rid of them. Look at this. Three of Wands again. Two Three of Wands. Very, very important. So Three of Wands energy. 
again, it's about the actions that you've already taken, which bring the results, bring the ship in on the horizon. So if you want better results in three months, I'm sure you do. Take the actions this month to clear out this stuck energy. Clear it out so that the beautiful new can come in. And clearing it out, it's going to be about articulating your desires, about speaking your truth, showing up, etc. So, and you know, there may need to be, I'm just going to put that out there for some of you. Because we had a king of cups and a king of wands. If you have a person in your life, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the fire energy, who has not been supportive. Now, some of you may have somebody supportive, so then this doesn't apply. But who have not been supportive and have kind of been an agent of keeping you doubting yourself and keeping you stuck, then it may be time to have a serious conversation with them and say, yo, like, no more of this. Like, I am not dealing with your shenanigans. I got to take care of me. I have this beautiful energy I want to use to manifest something brand new in my life. I am determined. I am focused. I'm going to manifest my 10 of coins financial security. So I don't care what you have to say anymore about it. It's my business. It's what I'm doing. So have a nice day. <laughs> now, that's me being very Aries in that speech, okay? But you may need to say it in a different way. Don't maybe use the speech I'm giving you, but there may need to be a conversation, again, to help you get out of this energy. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But look, this double three of wands. I love the three of wands because this, this energy promises us that if we take action, this wand, that's what wands are about. We can create a new horizon for ourselves. Something new comes in based on our efforts. So I love that. I freaking love that. So that can happen for you too, Aquarius. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see, let's see your secret dream, Aquarius. What is your secret dream? And then we will clarify that as well. Yeah, you got to let go of some of this stuff. All right, this flipped over. What do we have here? Oh, we have the cat and look at the message and Ariel was here for you. Take care of yourself. Trust that if you do, you'll always land on your feet. What was I just saying? <laughs> my speech, <laughs> my, my rabble rousing speech. Aquarius, take care of yourself. Tell that person. All right, let's pull a few cards to, to clarify that. So yeah, I mean, you will land on your feet. We know that from the first two energies that came out. This is a process that you're investing in. You're investing in yourself. So there's maybe energies around you. Like I said, a water or a fire sign that are taking too much of your energy. And you got to bring a little bit more of it back to yourself. So that you can help other people, serve the world, do what you're meant to be doing. Yeah, look at look at again the same energy, the five of swords. You will conquer this mental battle that you are going through because that's what it's about. All right. Yep. Seven of coins. If you want to grow the money tree for yourself, you want to grow the money tree. It's time to get cracking because look to, all right, because we're asking about this card. We've discussed in three months, it's the number seven. It's July. So you had two three of wands. Now we have the number seven popping up. So if you take care of yourself, and show up and do what you're supposed to do for yourself, you could have a beautiful change around in your finances, Aquarius, by the time we get into July. And you'll have more on your money tree. You'll be more well on your way to manifesting your full Ten of Pentacles. And you'll feel better about yourself in the process. So this is, this is a big month of it's, I don't want to call it a game changer, but in a way it is because 
the messages are pretty clear in these energies. It's about shifting the mindset. That is the key right now. Away from lack and away from focusing on other people rather than yourself. Because sometimes when we have fear about success, it's easier to focus on everybody else and what everybody else is doing rather than looking at what we are doing or not doing. Because what if we fail or what if we succeed? So you get what I'm saying? Like there, it's easier a lot of times to focus on other people. It, it absolves us of responsibility. And then we can complain, we can stay stuck in this and complain, nothing's ever changing in our life, we're still stuck and we're still in this. And you know, and well, yeah, but that's because you were taking care of everybody else, looking at everybody else's stuff and not taking care of number one. So it's time to bring the attention and focus back to yourself. Really do, I would say, you got to dig into this energy, Aquarius. Dig into all of this sword energy and cut it away. Make a decision for yourself that no more are you going to buy into all of this. And then take the inspired actions. And I mean, I think you will. You got the six of swords. I think you're going to do it. And you got this and the other one. So... And you got, you know, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. But it is time. No more mental gymnastic excuses of, I can't do this because. Uh, no, that's just a story you're telling yourself. All right. Or you're listening to other people tell you a story and you're believing what they tell you about. You're going to let somebody else define your own potential? No. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we have. I would like one, please. Is this one? No. This is one. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. When you change the inside of you, your beliefs, your heart, your emotions, yes, it sometimes takes a little bit of time for the outward signs to appear that are relevant to how you've changed. This is true. But if you never change, if you never make the initiative to change inside of you, change your dreams, claim your dreams, change your mindset, then yeah, the outward's never gonna change. So just because it, it may take till July for you to start seeing that Seven of Pentacles, the fruits of your efforts that you make this month, don't think that it's not happening and you just give up and you go back to the old way of life. Do you really want to go back to this? Do you really want to go back to this? No. So allow the universe to catch up with your dreams. Keep taking your inspired actions with that three of wands. Keep the focus on you taking care of yourself. And watch your world change. It's going to be exciting. So Aquarius, let me know in the comments how you plan on using this energy this month. I would love to hear. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. I will see you again soon. I love you guys. Stella Wilde signing out.